guest tonight is one of the most feared and popular fighters in the world and the former UFC light heavyweight champion. Let's take a look at him in the ring. Here he is with his new book, Iceman. Please welcome Chuck Liddell. Thanks so much for being here. Good to see you again. Good to see I, you. This is going to sound like a weird question, but I, 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 it's something I've been thinking about because I was watching a ton of footage of you today, and you just destroy people. Is there ever, way in the back of your mind, you ever, as you're just taking someone apart, start to worry for them a little bit? Does that ever happen? Where no. someone's head is actually coming off their body and you're thinking, I don't know, I should lay off a little bit. No, not while I'm doing it, no. After, after I'm done, I hope they're okay, but uh, while I'm doing it, I'm really trying to hurt them. Okay, so afterwards, while you're in that zone, you, you just want to destroy them, and then, but maybe the second it's over, it's like, oh, gee, I hope that doesn't hurt. Yeah, yeah. I, hope, I, hope, I, hope, I hope he's all right, yeah. Okay, sure. this bl blows my mind, but you are often asked by fans, you have a, a ton of fans out there, you'll be someplace, you'll be in a restaurant, you'll be in a bar, you'll be in Vegas. Fans come up to you, and they ask you to punch them. Yeah, I, I get it a lot, I, especially after the Inked episode where I, I hit, the, hit Jason Ellis on right, the Inked. Uh, right, right. But I actually had a girl the other day, it was probably the first time, that actually said, I really want to ask you to punch me in the face. And I'm like, really? <laughs> I, 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 you have to think about that? You right, want me to punch right, you in right, the face? I don't right. know. So that but, didn't happen, I'm no, trusting. No, yeah, I, okay. I, I, but, I don't hit people. But. But, well, so you don't hit people. Because uh, I've got to think, okay, you just, you, you've been on the show before and you just came out here right now. That's the last thing I'm thinking is, I hope he hits me in the face. That's the last. Well, I saw you punching back there. I don't think you've been in too many fights. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of my technique? It's a sort of a swatting and a, and a crying at the same time. Is That's not, uh, not yeah, good. not good. No. Yeah, no, that wouldn't work. Uh, you were uh, You were taught... To hit by your grandfather, is that right? Taught yeah, to punch. Yeah, started, started. My grandpa started teaching me to fight when I was a little kid. Okay. Was uh, there a, was there an impetus behind that? Was there a reason well, he said I, 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 I want to teach? I was you getting beat up a lot in school when I was really young, and because my mom told me not to fight, so I refused to fight. She told me I couldn't for any reason, and she told me it was okay to defend myself because one of the teachers said I was getting beat up every day. And, hey, you gotta let you gotta let him you gotta let him fight. You know, so your mom himself. changed her mind. She said, yeah, I said, as long as you're just defending yourself, and uh, asked my grandfather to show me how to fight. So. Ever since then, I've been fighting. And what is what was the trick that he taught you? What's well, really important thing, about him? My, my grandpa taught me back then was uh, throwing straight a lot of straight straight punches, and which is kind of funny because I'm known for throwing looping punches, but throwing straight punches and throwing from the hip, you know, putting my body behind my punches. So you, you, you it's it's about because a lot of people I think you, you see movies and people in movies are always just they got their feet planted and it's just bang and someone flies 50 feet but it's 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 much more than that it's, isn't it's it? It's more body. It's it's not like it's why you see a lot of you'll see skinny guys knocking guys out stuff where they're not don't have a lot of arm right. strength and stuff. Will but rip they get I am you get good hips, good hips and good good uh, timing. And, so uh, it's all about just getting your timing speed, and timing and, and landing punches. And one of the mistakes I've always, I don't know if it's true, that you're not supposed to put your thumb, your, your, your fingers yeah, that, over your thumb. I, I'm always hitting like that. Yeah, and that it, doesn't feel, it doesn't feel too good when you hit like that. Your right, thumb, you bring, your feel thumb so will rip off. Uh, yeah. You have one of the most intimidating stares, I think, in, in, in the history of fighting. And then I'm looking through your book, and there's a picture of you here, because we're just talking about your, your childhood, of you as a child. And look at this. You can see that it was there then, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's still there. I would, I would be scared of you then. Uh, yeah, I'm still mad at my sister for some of the pictures she gave him. But right, right. <laughs> There's an old adage in fighting and in a lot of athletic events, athletes, and, and you hear this a lot in boxing, they're told uh, no sex before a fight. And when you're training for a fight, <laughs> no sex. Uh, what, 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 what's your feeling about that? Um, I, I don't believe in that. I never have. I, to actually go the opposite, I think. <laughs> sex, during, sex during sex during the fight? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> day, day off, day before, for sure. Definitely. Really? Okay. And it doesn't affect you don't find it affects you. I think you it came from back in the day, I think there was more for the carousing. It's out, you know, chasing, doing going out and 
that back then, I think drink and smoke and go out and do, do that stuff. I think that's what they're trying to get them away from, not necessarily actually the actual act of having sex. Right. So I'm not chasing it, I'm just <laughs> doing it. I'm gonna leave it go right there. <laughs> Whatever you're doing seems to be working for you, so Thank who am I to question? Uh, a lot of uh, revelations in this book. Uh, you paint your toenails. Yeah, yeah, I've been doing that for a long time. Okay, does that help you in any way, do you find? I don't know that it helps in any way. It's, in, it's entertaining. I, I wear flip-flops most of the time, and uh, except for it's freezing out here, so I'm not wearing them here, but, uh, yeah. and uh, that, I get a lot of interesting looks, and people surprised. And it could be distracting in a fight, too. You could kick your shoe off, and your opponent's like, huh? And they're like, Argh! you know? <laughs> Does anyone punch like that? Popeye used to do that. He'd punch and upper, up, upper and the guy cuts. would fly up in the air and leave his uh, pants behind. are good, yeah. Okay, okay. All right. I, don't, I don't know if they throw them like that. <laughs> Does anyone ever kiss their fist before they hit? That's. I haven't seen it, but I'm sure it's been done. I've never been in a fight, but I've always thought if I was going to be in a fight, I'd kiss my fist first and then throw the punch. Uh, that, I'm such an ass. I'm sorry. Yeah. Guy, I don't know. Might, might throw a guy off. <laughs> uh, you have a stripper pole. In, in your home. Is yes, that, it was, that it it was a gift, a uh, Christmas gift for, I guess I figured I needed one for uh -huh. the guests guest to come by and, yeah, it's nice to have. <laughs> it's entertaining, it's entertainment for the whole family. Sounds you know? good to me. Again, whatever you're doing <laughs> seems to be working, so keep doing it. Uh, Iceman uh, comes out tomorrow. It's a very cool book, check it out. Chuck, always great having you here. Thank you. Chuck, the Iceman and the Joe Nichols coming up, we'll take a break. We'll be right back, stick around. <laughs> show tonight. Great show coming up tomorrow night from NBC News. David Gregory will tell us what the hell's going on in the world. Motocross and rally car driver Travis Pastrana and musical guest Kate Walsh. So watch that show. We'll be right back. Joe Nichols is here. Stick around. <laughs>